wanting to do a book review video for so long now and I finally am going to do it. So it's, you know, last Friday of the month, end of 2022. I'm just going to do the books that I've read for 2022. Most of them. I can keep track with my Kindle, so the physical books, I don't know. I only know one, well, two. Where the Crawdad Sings, good book, overrated, not worth the hype. Um, and you could literally watch the movie and it's like the same as the book. The relationships are just stronger in the book than it is in the movie. And the feels, you have way more feelings in the book. That's my opinion, everyone loved it, but it was over overhyped. The next book is The Texas Ranger. That book is by James Patterson. It is so good, so good, 10 out of 10. It has a whole bunch of twists and turns and I can never figure out the killer in any books that I read, which hurts my ego, but I can't, couldn't figure it out in that book, but I loved it. It was so good, I couldn't put it down. One of the top books, but then again, like the list that I've, I've only had like two books on this list that I'm like, you could probably skip and not read. The rest I love, literally love. So I'd honestly probably rate all these 10 out of 10. So on the Kindle, I've read The Cypher. It's book one of a series of three. Rumor has it, J-Lo is going to star in movies that are gonna come. That's the last I like heard of it. I think a book four should be coming soon. As soon as it does, I'm reading it. It was so good. But the Cypher series is about serial killers. Um, she works in the FBI. She's a mind reader, hunter. It has stuff to do with that. Um, she doesn't know a lot about the psychological stuff, but her crew is. It's the behavioral analysis unit, I think, that she works in. Um, she just worked her way up and she had to bring down a serial killer that, uh, was haunting her and trying to come back for her. So that was just in book one. Book two and book three are just, they're, they go through different, like, events or series that, of killers that they have to deal with. So, amazing book. The Perfect Marriage. Oh my goodness. This one? It blew my mind. I, Derek loves whenever I tell him about my books and I literally would tell him, break it down every time. He'd be like, what? That's so crazy. He doesn't want to read it, but I like try and give him the best story that I can, like cliff note version of it. It is so good. Like I thought I knew who did it. I wasn't sure. I didn't know. And then towards the end, I kind of figured it out, but I was questioning myself and the end is just like, oh my gosh, like I can't say too much more because it, it just will ruin it for you guys, but the ending is so mind blowing. The Housemaid. I, I cannot tell you. The Housemaid is one of another really good books. She comes out with a second book, I think in February. Don't know for sure but that one was so bizarre like so bizarre it took me forever to really like grasp everything that was happening the plot the storyline like it was so good I could not put that book down either it was like you thought you knew what was going on and you thought you just thought you knew everything and you, you didn't not at all um Basically, a girl is a housemaid at a really ritzy place and weird stuff just starts happening. The wife is just really odd. She's trying to figure out, like, what the heck's going on. There's this really weird, like, room that she has to stay in because she's an in-house housemaid. And it's just really, really weird. But it's so good. I, and again, I can't go into too more details. Too much. Ooh. Yeah, we're just done. We're not even going to talk about that book anymore because it's so good. Like I said, The Cypher has three other, well, two other books. It's The Cypher, A Different Dawn, and then The Falcon. All really good. 
um, never lie. Never lie is another like mind blowing psychological thriller. Um, I am going to be a therapist in my end, like in my end goal. That's, that's my goal in life. And she's a therapist in the book and it's just so crazy. Like all the stuff she goes through and like what she does to hide a few things and her clients that she has to deal with. It literally, I thought I figured it out. And again, I always think I figured it out and I never do. I thought I figured it out, I did not. So Never Lie is, ugh, just you gotta read it. Never Lie, the Cypher series, The Housemaid and the Perfect Marriage. Have to read, don't even ask anymore. You have to, and Texas Ranger. Okay. Saving Noah, I did not like it. Did not like it. Um, it's about a pedophile and it's about a suicide. It's about um, realizing he's a pedophile and doesn't want to hurt anyone. It was just not my cup of tea. I didn't like it. I just couldn't get behind it. So I, that's one book that I just don't read, in my opinion. Um, the Arrangement, so that is a book of three. I read all three of those. I personally would not read it again. Like, I wouldn't recommend it in general. It was a good book and I read all three of them because I was like already into the twist, but it was just too long. Like, I don't even know. It just didn't it was stupid the plot was stupid it didn't make sense and it's like how am I supposed to be supporting on these main characters when they're doing this like I don't like it but here I am still reading it so I mean if you're like me and you feel like you can't stop a series unless you finish it then you're probably gonna finish it but I, I wouldn't have knowing what I know now I would not read it so and again, the arrangement has three series, or three, it's a three series, whatever. Oh God, my cat is meowing. The Quiet Retreat. This one was really good. Um, I didn't figure it out. I don't think it gives you enough to be able to figure it out. It just seemed more like a I don't know. I don't want to compare it to a movie, but it reminds me of a movie. And I can't say the movie because it's too obvious and you'll know everything. But it just was kind of a cliche after watching like the movie series that I watched. Um, it's good, but it's not like The Housemaid or The Perfect Marriage. So, The Inmate inmate was so freaking good that's one of the books that I read within a day um the inmate has a nurse practitioner she's helping people out in the jail she actually put one of the inmates in jail and she's trying to deal with him and just craziness happens and she's trying to figure out like what happened what's the truth in all the matter and it happened like over 11 years ago and she's just now seeing this inmate again and they used to be ex-lovers it's really good the ending was kind of stupid like it wasn't like stupid gets you mad it was just like man I wish it didn't end that way but it ended really good The next book, ooh, okay, so I'm reading The Intruder. That book is so far so good. Um, I would already probably recommend it. I'm 45% through, so don't know 100% how it's going to play out, but like from the beginning you know the murderer like you know who it is because it, they tell you 
So I'm kind of like leery on how this is going to end. But those are just the books that I've read since probably September around there. Um, I will write down all in the description. And I really do hope you guys read these books. And if you do, let me know what you think. Or if you have any recommendations, I love me a good psychological thriller. Let like just comment below and let me know too because I will definitely add it to my list. If you don't have Kindle Unlimited and you have a Kindle, you just need Kindle Unlimited. All these books that I listed were all from Kindle Unlimited. Um, I can add the link down below too. It for me when I got it, it was zero dollars for three months, 99 cents for the fourth month, and then after that, it was 10.99. So I'm still in my, uh, I think I just paid 99 cents this month. So anyways, really good deal. You read one book, you read enough to pay for it. It's easy to read a book in a month. Um, some, now there's some books that I cannot read a book in a month, but all the ones that I'm recommending to you, I literally struggled to focus because they were so good and I just wanted to go home and read. I read so much. They were so good. Um, like I said, the only two I did not like was Saving Noah and um, The Arrangement, The Atonement, and The Amendment. Like Those series did not like. So let me know what you think.